Okay, I was debating to make this video or not, but I realized that people are kind of interested in these things. And today was the Apple event, the March event that was moved in April, and uh, it just ended. And I wanted to uh, give you my opinion about what was released. And we have new things, we have great things, and we have less great things. So uh, let me tell you a few things very fast about what Apple released and what I think it's important for all of us as content creators, videographers, photographers, designers, um, I don't know, artists, everyone who is using an uh, Apple device, either an iPad or a MacBook or a uh, iMac or uh, I don't know, a Mac mini, all those things all in one, uh, help us create more. And uh, today Apple came up with some crazy things. Besides that, there are another uh, new things that they came up with that I wanna tell you a few things. So let's start with the new things, new things that have never been released by Apple. And these are the AirTags uh, have been announced many, uh, many times in the past or at least rumored and uh, never came up with. The AirTags are basically small mini devices that contain a chip that will communicate with your devices to be able to let you find your keys or your wallet. Uh, there are many on the market, but Apple didn't have any of the source and today they came up with the air tags apparently at a good price and uh hopefully they're gonna be very useful uh, you can buy a pack of four for a hundred dollars or i think it's 30 bucks for one something like that nonetheless that will be probably one of their um high uh sell product uh, in uh, 2021 because people were looking for this for a long time the second thing that i want to talk about is the iMac. New iMacs are coming and uh, are coming in May. Uh, that will be when you will be able to uh, start pre-ordering or uh, I think you can pre-order sooner and you're gonna get them in May. Nonetheless, the new iMacs look totally different. They're basically iPad Pros. Uh, same uh, look, same feel, but they're bigger. It's not gonna be a 21.5. It's gonna be a 24 uh, inches and uh, they look amazing. I uh, am very, very happy to see that Apple finally gets to uh, new designs for uh, these devices that we're using every day and they were looking dull, too clunky, too heavy, and uh, the design was uh, totally cumbersome with those huge uh, bezels on the side as well as the chin. Now, the chin is still there. It's not going to be uh, much different. But the design on the sides, it's more square. And like I said, it looks like an iPad Pro. For me, they released today three new iPad Pros because we're gonna talk about the new iPad Pros as well. But the iMac looks like an iPad Pro enhanced to 24 inches. It does have the new M1 Mac, no new chipset has been released. So the iMacs, we're gonna have the old M1 now because we all using or the ones uh, who decided to use that. We already know what this uh, chipset can do. And if you don't, just go ahead and watch a lot of videos uh, that will tell you that this is a great uh, chipset. And I'm using it on my Mac mini. Uh, mine is the upgraded one to 16 gigabytes. And here is the gripe that I was telling you about. This new iMax that they just released today, the 24 inches, won't let you upgrade to 16 gigabytes, or at least on the App Store, there is no option for now to upgrade the RAM in uh, this iMacs. And that is a little bit weird because there might be people who are enjoying their MacBook Pros M1 or their Mac Minis M1, and they're thinking about having an all-in-one display, especially because the display is upgraded to a 4.5K display with P3 uh, gamut and all the bells and whistles that comes with Retina displays that everyone loves for their color accuracy and uh, uh, the color rendition and everything else. So uh, I think that the 16 gigabytes would have been a must, even for those who don't don't have much space on their desk and they want to use a smaller one maybe not a photographer or a videographer who needs a lot of space a lot of real estate on their screen but for those who are doing design or uh, uh, you know graphic design or anything like painting and stuff like that maybe you don't need a huge display but you need more ram to uh, 
you know, help the M1 work faster. Now, I can tell you for sure that 16 gigabytes of RAM in uh, conjunction with the M1 work very well, as well as the eight gigabytes with the M1, it's, uh, it only matters what you're using them for, but the more RAM, the better. That's what they say. Though these new chips are definitely improved because they're SOCs all built in one chip, the RAM, the CPU, and the GPU, and that helps the uh, CPU to work faster in all kinds of operations that you're throwing at. Maybe they should let you upgrade to 16 gigabytes. Who knows? Maybe the no newer, uh, bigger iMacs, the ones that they're... Um, you know, supposed to have 30 or 31 inches, they're going to have this option up to 32, who knows. But these ones, at least right now, don't have that option. And the last thing that I want to tell you about is obviously the iPad Pros. I do own the iPad Pro 2019 with a, uh, I think it's a 12X uh, CPU. It's fast, it's reliable, you can do a lot of stuff, edit photos, videos, you can draw, you can do design on it, no problem. But the new ones have been upgraded to M1. So now basically what Apple does is to unify the entire line of um, their product with the M1 processors and uh, brings me to one thing. Well, it's going to be great to have all devices unified and be able to use apps from one to another, even if you're using the Mac mini or the iMac uh, as a desktop, if you're using the MacBook Pro as your portable device and you have as well uh, an iPad Pro that you want to use when you don't want to carry the MacBook uh, Pro, though they're slim and small and portable. So all those apps were going to be combined and can be able to use those on all devices. That is great. So now the iPads Pro have the M1 and another big upgrade that they came to iPad Pro is the display, which is amazing to hear that they're going to use the XDR display from the Pro XDR uh, monitors that they have for the Mac Pro on the iPad. The display goes up to 1600 nits on the peak of brightness and is around, I think, 1200 nits. So that will be great for editing, will be great for design, it will be great for all kinds of, um, let's say, creative uh, tasks that you want to throw on the iPad patched with the M1 as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM. These new iPads are going to be beasts for all of us content creators and uh, for all of us who are into this, you know, photography and videography uh, path and we're trying to create and be more flexible and uh, have our devices with us all the time so we can do everything on the go. Guys, this is pretty much it. These are my takes from this Apple event. It's not much and I'm not gonna go uh, very, uh, you know, deep in technicalities like I never do, but I wanted to tell you about it and hopefully you're gonna, you know, take something out of it. If you are looking for an iPad Pro or an iMac, I think it's a good time to buy one. They're gonna come up with the bigger iMac, the, like I said, 30 or 31 inch. So if you wanna wait for that, they're gonna be upgraded processor for sure, M1X or M2, whatever they're uh, gonna call it. And uh, I'm pretty sure that these new iPad Pros will uh, hold you for years. Maybe not five, maybe not four, but for sure two, three years uh, from now, this processor will be able to uh, handle everything you are throwing at them. So if you are on the market of one of these, go ahead and uh, check the app store. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, it's nothing. I just want to, like I said, let you know about this news at the Apple event in case you didn't watch it. You can watch it on their YouTube uh, channel as well. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and don't forget to give these videos a thumbs up. It's super important. The more thumbs ups we're getting, even thumbs downs, like I said, the more these videos are going to be uh, pushed up in uh, the rankings and uh, more people are going to see them and create this big community. I would say stay connected, my friends, and I will definitely see you in a bit.